sporadic violence between protesters and police has been ongoing for days in the southern town of Ben Gadan. Tunisian traders are angry that the Libyan border has been closed and they're losing business. High unemployment and lack of development has caused months of sit-ins. The residents of Bin Kardan make their living with trade and blocking that's caused big problems. Our most important demand is to find a solution for the import and export between Tunisia and Libya. All your projects have been a lie. All your promises have been a lie. You didn't give us anything and the person who comes to us here comes with just a bundle of papers. Tunisians are frustrated in many other parts of the country, including the city of McNasi, where a strike was held to demand jobs and opportunities. This general strike is a message to the government who has not responded to our request to start a ministerial council devoted to McNasi to begin development and employment. The only reason is unemployment. The entire city is affected by it. There are people aged 40 to 50 years old who are unemployed, despite the fact that they have college degrees. The central and southern regions are dotted with marginalized towns where many young Tunisians see little economic progress. Prime Minister Yusuf Chahid sent a ministerial delegation to the south to appease protesters. It's been six years since Zain al Abidin bin Ali was deposed, but not much appears to have changed. With little economic progress, tensions fueled by frustrations continue to flare. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.